Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator of the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, in honor of our new Steam to Speed tour opening later this spring, we're going to walk you through an abbreviated version of the Steam Cycle. So behind me, we have one of the sea chests, a hole in the triple bottom of the ship that allows salt water to be scooped up. First, the salt water is going to go to evaporators where it's turned into pure, fresh water that we can feed into the boilers. This is the deaerating feed tank. Both make up feed water that's being introduced into the system and condensed water that's being returned into the steam cycle is held here. This also removes any gas from the water prior to it entering the boiler. Here we're at the water side of the boiler where fresh water is run through these tubes Fire on the inside of the boiler is heating this water. First it heats it into steam and then it's run through again to be turned into superheated steam. That steam is then sent over to the turbines. Now we get to use the steam that was made in the boilers. This is the ship's high pressure turbine. Steam enters this and spins impellers inside. Impellers work the same as the propellers in a windmill. It's just they're encased inside the turbine to prevent dangerous steam from getting out. Once the steam has spun the impellers in the high pressure turbines, to get more efficiency out of it, we pipe it through this large pipe into the low pressure turbines. The same process is repeated there. The rotational motion from the turbines is translated into here, the gear reduction box, a number four main engine. The propeller shaft for a number four propeller feeds out of the back of this. The reduction box reduces the rotation of the turbines from thousands of revolutions per minute down to about 200 revolutions per minute, ideal for high speed steaming of a battleship. The end of the steam cycle is that the dead steam that's just gone through the turbines is collected here in the condensers. Cold seawater is piped in to chill that dead steam back into fresh water that we can then pump back into the deaerating feed tank and then boil again so that the cycle continues. Thank you for joining us for our brief walkthrough of the steam cycle. For a more in-depth look at how this works, come back with us later this spring when we'll open our new steam to speed tour, focusing on propulsion on the battleship. Also be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check in every Friday for new video content.